had plenty of time to spare while I waited for my order to complete, so I browsed the store. subscribers and my viewers. One, we are going to get to know each other, well, mainly me. <laughs> gonna get to know my thoughts on this platform. We're going to do a mukbang on Korean food. I think Jack Chae Youngest, so who's gonna be? Just, whatever, just get ready for the stage. Pull out my chair, give me flowers, pay for my dinner, and let's enjoy. Grab a snack really quickly, put this on pause, go get something to eat, <laughs> give me your chopsticks, and these are mine. <laughs> okay, I gotta do everything cute. I totally forgot what this was, but I will look it up on Google. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, we oh, have to say grace. I forgot. Here are mine. And the first dish we are going to try. Thank you for the food we're about to receive. We ask you to bless it and cleanse it for the nourishment of our physical body. In Jesus' name, I'll be your safety, serve you, and bless our bread and bless our water, and take sickness from the midst of us. Thank you, God, for healthy bodies and the food to nourish them. Amen. I'm just going to try it raw. I don't know what sauces to put on it. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so this is good. Alright, the next dish. I'm excited about this one. They're good. We're gonna have to go back up to that restaurant. This, I'm gonna have to come here again. <laughs> That's, oh my god, that, I like that. That is spectacular. Oh. I don't even know what this is, but it looks good. It looks happy. Ah, food! I'm glad I know how to make eggs, because this egg ain't gonna last. I'm gonna use some more. This one's starting to eat jam. Okay. Okay, Korea, I see you. Is it proper etiquette to eat these with my hands or do I have to use chopsticks or use forks? But it's nice. Like, what do I do? I promise I'm ready. Like, I just don't know how to eat this. They know how to go use South Korea. Listen, following BTS has led me to greatness. <laughs> it has led me to greatness. I don't know what to do. All of this food is done. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, obviously here's where my sound went out for just a quick minute. Um, I tried three different pairs of udon noodle. It was crab, lobster, and mushroom. And then I'm gonna tell you about the boba that I had. I ordered coconut boba, which boba is milk and tea. And I didn't realize it was gonna be strong coconut milk. Um, I forgot I was at an authentic Korean restaurant. So I got sick, but it was worth it because it was so delicious and embarrassed, the boba. It was so worth it. <laughs> but yeah. I got super sick. Anyway, moving on. Okay, first we're gonna try the infamous, the infamous banana milk. Shout out to uh, shout out to John Cook. Okay. This my some. I love trick songs. Okay. Oh, we're gonna try this. I see why. I see why. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't let you have it. Oh my god. I don't know. Am I supposed to shake Okay. We're gonna try this. Yes, it's like everything is stronger. Everything is stronger. Like everything. This ain't regular strawberry milk. This is strong strawberry milk. This this strawberry milk. This ain't regular banana milk. This is banana. That's coconut. This coconut. Alright, since we're listening to cake, we're gonna keep eating these fish cakes. Oh my god. Alright, my favorite thing is between the kimchi, fried rice, I think that's what it was. This is our meal. <laughs> oh, I got more gobi and fried rice. I don't know, I like both of them, but the one, a mixture. My favorite is a mixture. So now we're going to answer questions and we're going to eat 
our favorite parts of the meal, which is hard because everything is literally good. I'm so excited because I cannot get up on my channel being fake. I can't come to this date with a fake mindset. When it comes to acting, I have big goals. I want to be in movies. I want to be in cinema. I need to be on screen. I want to do multiple projects. I want to do, um, <laughs> I want to do lifetime movies. I want to do action. I'm seeing any movie. Any good movie. I really want to play a villain. I really do. I want to play everything. I, I don't want to be typecast. So. You know what's funny? I used to, I used to, I used to hate these. No. Mm. Okay. They did. He's not giving him a shout out. Um, I want to be in the movies and cinema. I want to have lead roles. I want to win an Oscar, an Emmy. I want to direct, create my own films play in every genre and short short term goals. Look, well, I don't care what order this all comes in. I would love to be on one of those shorts that I see on YouTube. Lifetime movies. Um, I want to get a Disney money check. I want to do DreamWorks. I want to do I wouldn't mind doing voice over. It seems kind of complicated but it can't be like it has to be accomplishable. Mm. I want to have a real career as an actress. My background as an actor. I've done some extra work. I've gone to classes. I was a drama major. Singing. I have written so many songs. My goal as a singer is to be as good as a as good and as skilled and as talented as I possibly can. I I have written at least ten albums worth of songs. I want to prove that artists can and do write their own music. But it's not really even about that. I just want to get my vision out there. I'm an alto too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. But is that to me? We can. If I want to do multiple. I will do multiple genres. Like you can't put me in a box. I don't. I don't think anybody is really in a box anymore. Unless they put themselves in that box. I think you can't help but hit multiple genres because it's like the way music is now. These people are much more accepting. They mesh as well. And people want to hear the same. Some people might want to hear the same sound all day long. But you need your Britney Spears and you need your Whitney Houston. You need the powerful powerhouse, and you need the subtle, calm, nurturing voices. I mean, you need variety. You need options in life. If we did the same thing every day, I'll be sick of that. I'm an Aries. We can tie this up quick. I wanted to be an artist without studio though. So, and the thing about music is, you want it to be right. A lot of times people say, okay, we'll sing something. You get nervous because it's like, mm -hmm. it means so much to you that you don't want them to say you can't sing. You don't want them to say, ooh, you sound terrible. You want them to say, I love it. But even if they don't love it, you should still go for it anyway. You can always improve, or you can always figure out ways to make your voice workable with the track. I was a vocal major. I was in a couple of vocal groups. As far as directing goes, I'm, I'm going to be a female director, a black female director. Um, it's a big deal to have prosperous female directors. Um, the books that I've written, I want to transform them into movies, I want to star in them, and I want to direct them. Direct them. Um, I took a directing class, and that's when I first realized I had the ability to direct. Cause it was so easy and it made so much sense and it was just fun to see how things come together and see the difference in slight changes and the delivery that every slight change gives so so on that end with my youtube everything is me you can see my directorial taste i guess not completely but just the natural the way the natural way it comes out when it comes to writing i write every single day i write songs books and pre-writes um i've written poetry um just ideas, but mainly songs, mainly books. I write every day. And the thing about my writing is I write through emotion. Like if I'm feeling something right then and there, I'll write. And when you write like that, you literally can write in four minutes flat. Like, you just, cause you're just typing, typing away, or you're just hurrying up and you're getting it out. It's like, you're going super, super fast. And I know ways to force myself to write. I don't practice them often. Like my issue is I wonder if someone was to say, oh, well, I heard you could write in four minutes, do it right now. If I'm not inspired, I might be like, dog, I need these two hours. <laughs> Come up with something off of nothing. But like when it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm up, and I just think of something, like a scenario or whatever. I'm just, gotta get, gotta get my phone, gotta get, gotta get something to write it down with. In four minutes, a whole synopsis or whatever, a whole storyline or a whole song or a whole five song. Thing. It's like, I love writing. I feel like I get any gift. Like I, I don't need validation when it comes to my writing because I know that my talent is so expensive. It's like one of those things that you just get confident because you prove it to yourself. This is what I'm supposed to do. When it comes to modeling, I'm going to break barriers. Short models, 
or mamas who are not skip thin. I'm going to break barriers. Um, there's always going to be the first to do something. And why not you? And why not you? I'm talking runaway, print, <laughs> editorial. You can do anything. Take the limits off of you and take the limits off of that. You can do anything. Especially as time goes on. People are breaking barriers every day. With the beauty industry, I need to grow. I want to grow. I will grow. I want my name with associated with lines. Um, I want to be taken seriously. I want to perfect my craft. I want to learn more. I want to explore more. I want to be prosperous. I want my name to be a staple. I want to reap the rewards of my harvest. I want, I want people to know that makeup is there for you. I hate when people make people feel bad about makeup. I hate when people accuse people of being superficial because of makeup. I hate when people make others feel like they have a one-up on them just because they think their makeup is better. Because for me, makeup is supposed to make you feel good. If you have a flaw, you're supposed to be able to do a quick fix like that. And sometimes people take it to a level of disrespect and stereotype. And I don't understand why. Makeup is supposed to be fun. Like, it's already expensive. Have fun with it. You already lost the coin. <laughs> Might as well make yourself look good. And if a, if, if a person decides that they want to wear makeup, let them live. If a person decides they don't want to wear, wear makeup, let them live. Makeup is an option. And the best thing about it is if you mess up, if you don't like it, you can wipe it off. It's not permanent. So tonight, I am wearing Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Now. I smell like a Barbie doll. I am also wearing the holiday special of Ruby Moon Retro Max by MAC. And of course, one of my favorite lines, no. So this was my main date. I hope you enjoyed your date. We're going on a second date, so we can try to eat our noodles later. I don't know when. And you're paying for it. Bye! <laughs>